Hi, Mike Pangia here. And today we're gonna to make a Mexican and Central American favorite refried beans, frijoles refritos. You may notice that I'm wearing something new today. I have a cap. My hair is getting kind of scraggly during this pandemic where I'm reluctant to go out and get a haircut. So to protect the food and to project a proper healthful image, I'm using a cap from now on when I cook. Now we have some dried red kidney beans. Which we're going to put in the pot. And cover with filtered water. I don't know that it makes any difference, but I kind of like to sink the floaters, get them all under water. I'll leave about an inch and a half of water covering the beans. Now we just let them soak, usually overnight. After a couple of hours, you'll probably have to add more water. After the overnight soak, the next step is to drain and rinse the beans. Now into a large pot they go. Cover them with water. Turn on the heat, very low. Let's start the simmer process. Now I'm going to take a trip out to my garden to pick an onion. For you city folks, this is what an onion looks like when it comes out of the ground. I'm going to also peel a couple of cloves of garlic for the pot. Now I'm going to throw these onion quarters and a couple of cloves of garlic into the pot. Check it every 15 or 20 minutes. Stir it up so the beans don't stick to your pot. Make sure there's enough water to cover them. Let's add a little salt and give it a stir. Once the beans are tender, in about two and a half hours or so, drain off the excess cooking liquid and save it. Now I'm going to use my stand mixer with the beater head and basically puree the beans.
Now you could use a blender or even mash them with a potato masher if you don't have too many beans to work with. But I made the whole bag, the whole pound, it's a lot of beans. Best for me is to use my stand mixer. Pretty good job there. It looks well mixed. Take a look. Pretty smooth. Now, I am going to use my favorite non-dairy butter substitute which will help my cholesterol and satisfy the vegans in the group. If you want to be more decadent or if you are French and you'd like to use real butter you're welcome to do that as well. Okay, that's enough to start. Put a good amount of beans in there. Getting one of my tasting spoons. Really, really needs more salt, so take care of that. Now keeping it on very low heat, let it simmer until it thickens just a bit. Now I'm leaving it up to you to be creative in how you're going to use these frijoles. You can serve them with any dinner where you might ordinarily serve mashed potatoes. Or you can use them on your own homemade nachos. Or you can follow my recipe for making tortillas or you could even buy some in the store if you don't want to make them yourself and make a delicious bean burrito by rolling the frijoles in your uh, flour tortilla. There's a lot of uses for it. It's really tasty, it's nutritious, good for you, economical to buy and to make, so good luck with it. Make some, enjoy them. Your frijoles make an excellent side when you're making huevos rancheros. Or you can use them like you would use mashed potatoes on a regular dinner. Butter them up and serve them proudly. Or the more traditional use in bean burritos. There we have it. Frijoles refritos. Refried beans. Not a very glamorous looking dish, but certainly a useful one to add to the repertoire of any chef. This concludes today's video and I'd like to remind any of you that have not yet hit subscribe to please do so so that we can remain connected. Also you can do a good turn for a friend or neighbor who may be interested in cooking or food related videos by hitting share on this video and share it with them. Let them get a look. Maybe they'll become subscribers in the future. I would appreciate that. Well, thanks again for watching. I appreciate your continued interest, and I'll see you again next time.